As a result of the massive action at the 2012 World Series of Poker, a number of big names have made their way into the top 20 in the Card Player Player of the Year race sponsored by Lock Poker. Vanessa Selfs won her second bracelet to move into 18th place, while Michael Mizraki moved into 13th when he became the first player ever to win the 50k Poker Players Championship twice. And Phil Ivey made five final tables to move into the top 10. Another player to benefit in a big way from the WSOP is Kyle Julius, who overtook the lead in the POI race in early July. Julius has made three final tables, accumulating earnings of more than 2.1 million this year. We caught up with him on day 1C of the main event to learn more about his fantastic year, which began with a huge run of finish in the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure main event for $1.5 million. I'm just finally getting the, the hang of everything, and I really haven't been at the live scene for too long, so it's been a good year. It started off well. I probably wouldn't have been playing all these other tournaments if PCA didn't go so well, so I've been able to have the funds to put myself in any tournament I want to play, so that's been the key and you know, just staying level headed and playing poker, you know, and just things are going well. Can't complain. Julius backed up his massive PCA score with two more final tables this summer, including a 1K at Binions and a huge runner up finish in a 5K no limit event at the series. The Binions 1K, I just played it randomly. I didn't even know what was gonna happen like going on. One of my buddies told me about it and we all hopped in it and had a good time playing that, and then the 5K was right after that the next day, and just ran well and made another run. Julius played three-handed against fellow POI contender Dan Smith and Pete Philandos, who eventually won. I mean, they're both great, and they both, I mean, Pete was a huge shock. I couldn't believe how, how well he actually played and adjusted to Dan and I, who are both pretty aggressive players, and Pete just played right back at us, and I mean, obviously, you have to get cards as well, and make hands, but yeah, it was it was a tough battle, that's for sure. We also asked Julius what it would mean to him if he ended up winning the 2012 Player of the Year honors. Just, I mean, this is what we do for a living, or I mean, you know, as a professional poker player, and to say that you had the best year out of anybody, I mean, would obviously be a cool, cool feat to have, so yeah, of course, it'd be something I'd be real proud of.